told the wife we had an intruder in the house. She was a little panicked at first, and then once she saw what I was talking about, she was not amused. There are plenty of YouTube channels with great modelers who have great production skills. This is not one of them. Welcome to Cables Creations. I've got more aftermarket for this kit than just about any kit I've had before. And on 148 scale, that's going to be a fairly big bird. Uh, for one thing, looking through the instructions, uh, it does not come with multiple ejector racks. So I got some 3D printed ones from ResKit. Also, it didn't come with figures, so I got uh, resin figures that just happen to have uh, seats along with them. And something brand new that's inside of this are some 3D printed decals from uh, Quinta Studios. Gonna try those out for a change. And I've already gotten just a little bit of work uh, done with the uh, pilots and uh, the ejector seats. So the uh, uh, ejector handles on the seats. Actually, one of them was uh, broken in the package. So I'm gonna use some uh, wire. I've got that super glued, and then just gonna have to uh, bend it into loops. Uh, same with this one. I'm uh, keeping the heads off so I can paint them separately and then add them on there. And also, down at the very bottom, this I talked about aftermarket. An aftermarket decal set. Oh, this one's going to be Devil 505. Jake Grafton's plane from the movie Flight of the Intruder. In fact, let me zoom in right down there. Those are helmet decals for uh, Jake. Came as one set with 132, 148 that I'm going to use, and 172. Those are for Jake Grafton. Uh, those are for Morgue. But also, if you look uh, there, you can uh, put names on the plane for Jake and then either Morg or Virgil Cole. So we're going to go with uh, uh, Virgil Cole and uh, Jake. And here is the reason I was getting the multiple ejector racks. Those are Mark 82 bodies and those are snake eye tails, so glue those together. I'm gonna put on a total of 22 bombs. As each multiple ejector reactor could hold up to six, but on the intruder, the uh, inboard two most positions uh, had to be kept empty because they would interfere with the landing gear. And in choosing this kit, I went with uh, the A6E. In uh, the movie, they never say whether it's really an A or an E, but there's one scene where they do an Iron Hand mission and they fly a B, so they're guess they're kind of hinting that uh, they were flying uh, A's, but they never specified it. Also, it's been 
close to 30 years since I read the book. So I don't know if they were supposed to be flying an A or an E. Uh, at the time of movie, according to my research, the E model was available. And they actually used E's for the movie, so that's what I'm going to go with. When I say they actually used E for the movies, that's what uh, they, that's what the, uh, was actually flown and was uh, painted up with the uh, fictitious squadron markings. So that's the one I chose to go with to try to make it look like what was really being flown in the movie. Okay, got some more of these uh, snake eyes made. Uh, need to print off some uh, end caps. Also need to print off uh, some more of the snake eye tails. And I talked about the uh, 3D decals. First thing you have to do with those is to actually uh, get off any raised details so that it'll be a flat surface to go on. One little tip I found is that actually before sanding to use some uh, modeling chisels to take it down, make it relatively flat, and then you can sand it, it makes the sanding so much easier. One other thing I've been doing uh, is actually building up uh, the various uh, armaments that came in the kit. And I'm gonna start just putting all the armaments and even slowly going through my spares box to have a whole box of uh, just armaments. That'll be kind of trying to create some room in my spares box, so not having stuff on the sprues, but you know, having a box full of uh, basically bombs and rockets and missiles from all my other, they're left over from my other kits. Okay, one thing a little different I'm doing, uh, all these armaments, I'm putting them together and putting them into this box, which is going to be a spare armaments box. Uh, also, at some point in the near future, plan to go through my spares box, get all the armaments out, and just keep a box of, you know, have a separate spares box of armaments. Yeah, getting a little OCD with that, but also trying to make room for things, because my spare bo spares box is getting pretty full. Yeah, you got the combing into black. Then, also I got the uh, instrument panel in black. Got gray, then left uh, that just in black primer that's uh, masked. And so I guess uh, paint up that throttle quadrant and then start getting uh, those 3D decals on. Also got the figures in uh, primer and even got uh, most of the uh, seat into black. The uh, thing I've picked up from Night Shift is prime black from below and white from above to uh, help create artificial highlights and shadows. Uh, did the same with the uh, pilot heads over here. All right, got some paintwork done. Uh, I'm going to get two slightly different shades of uh, flight suits. So I haven't painted the uh, boots yet. Also, I uh, got the faces at least partially painted on these two. I put together the uh, landing gear and the uh, front gear housing. And you have to do a little uh mocking up uh along the way to figure out to go as the uh instructions mentioned putting the gear in and hopefully i won't have to put those gear in until 
everything is almost completed, but uh, this is my first time building a Hobby Boss kit, so I don't know if that's going to be impossible to add the gear later, so I'll kind of figure that out along the way. So, making some progress on uh, this uh, Devil 505. This is kind of crazy. I don't think I've ever built a model that had that many pieces that go into the landing gear. That's, uh, that one's for the left, that one's for the right for the main gear, that's for the front gear, but let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pieces for one landing gear. One other thing I got done was putting black on the center of those uh, wheels. So just another little thing to get done. So making some progress on uh, the figures. Um, got this one. Uh, I can't really focus it in, but... You know, got both of the flight suits in green, and then Mr. Cole's, um, not sure how well you can tell, but that's uh, tiger striped. And when he had painted the throttle quadrant, so this and this are going to be ready for uh, the 3D decals. And also got uh, primer on the landing gear. Primer on the nose. I also put a couple of pieces uh, together, like that. Those doors, I don't know if those are really speed brakes or just uh, compartments, but I got those put on. And this one, I think, was really meant to have ladders down, so it didn't fit quite properly. So I put those uh, pieces of styrene on to kind of make it fit a little better and so I'm going to sand those to feather them down. Also, I painted the uh, insides of the intakes here, so going to get those put together. Also plan to prime right around that area before I put the uh, intakes on. Prime and paint those uh, before I put the intakes on because uh, that can uh, be interfered with when, or, you know, just be hard to get the paint back behind there. Well, got to start on that uh, A6E. Um, that's probably the build I'm going to be concentrating on the rest of this month and uh, into January, trying to get that finished by uh, January 30th uh, to be in time for the Vietnam group build. Well, until later, showing you mine to hopefully make you feel better about yours.